Hey, what's up, guys? This is something pretty new. Uh, I actually didn't up s the speed on the video at all, and uh, yeah, so it's because it was a pretty short battle. It was like 13 turns or something. Um, is it any battle? He only brought one RU guy, which is Kabutops, which really doesn't come into play at all. Anyways, uh, he's going to lead off with his RU guy being the Kabutops, and I'm going to lead off with my Mag Mortar. Um, so yeah, and uh, obviously he's going to you know set up rocks with him because most lead Kabutops do that. And they usually Focus Sash and Aqua Jet or Sword Stance. Um, I'm going to go for T-Bolt. I actually was surprised that I sped uh, Kabutops, but I guess like, it really isn't that fast without the rain. Um, so, yeah, he is going to live with the Sash, like I kind of assumed. Um, so, which has me next turn, he's most likely going to go for an Aqua Jet, seeing how I outsped him. Um, so, right here, he is going to go for the Aqua Jet, yeah, so. Um, yeah, but it kind of, you know, kind of sucks. He brought an R, you guy. Because you learned your goddamn tears. Um, so... I'm gonna live that. I actually took that a little worse than I thought I would. I kind of expected to take it with like 120 HP left, to be honest. But I guess you know Kabutops is pretty strong, and I don't know. Um, but anyways, he's gonna go out into his uh, Molga, which I just stayed in here because it's death water, and he's actually going to miss the air slash, which is actually pretty funny. I just stayed in one for the T-Bolt Silks and Specs, and I kind of expected him to be Mortar Drive. But I guess that's only Dream World, and it's not released yet, so he actually has the regular mo uh, Moldo with Static. Um, so it actually comes into play pretty bad, and uh, sorry for the hacks, but whatever. Anyways, he's just going to finish me off now with the uh, Air Slash. I think his best bet was to T-Bolt me, but I guess he was trying to think that, you know, maybe I could live something he kind of wanted to flinch me. I have no clue. But anyways, I'm going to bring out my Hypno here, which he's probably assuming is a wall. Um, I'm going to give you a hint right now, it's not a wall. Um, he's actually going to go for the Air Slash. It does a little bit more than, you know, I'm happy with. Um, I, I do have uh, some, you know, like, wall investment into it. Like, I have max HP, max special defense, but um, I have uh, nasty plot on it. So, right here, so he's going to roost. Um, not, probably think I'm not gonna be able to do anything, you know, with seismic toss usual, you know, on the usual hit now. I'm gonna set the nasty plot. So uh, right here, I get a free nasty plot. So he, you know, gets a little bit of health back, not even a lot. And I'm going to actually go for a psychic on the next turn, just because I know he's gonna want to try to, you know, do something to me now. And um, attacking with its most powerful move, she does turn out to have T-Bolt. And I'm just going to go for a psychic and finish off the mold. I mean, I could have stayed in and took another, you know, T-Bolt after this one and, you know, had set up uh, another nasty plot, but I don't know. And I thought uh, one nasty plot should make my hit no good enough to go, but it turns out I probably should have set up two. But uh, he's going to go on to his jump off here, obviously, to try and put me to sleep. Um, he misses the sleep powder, which kind of sucks for him. Just because he doesn't know hit no has insomnia. I don't know which other ability Hypno does get, but I do run the Insomnia one. So, uh, him not knowing that um, kind of cost him his jump off because I'm just going to go for the super effective uh, Hintara Ice. Um, if he didn't miss that, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have tried going for another Sleep Powder, as you'll see. He's actually going to bring in his Butterfree, and that kind of gives away really that uh, he's probably not try to uh, put me to sleep again because you know I'm pretty much set up to sleep and uh yeah and somebody's gonna kick in and I'm just gonna go for the psychic and he's gonna take that actually pretty well um I kinda thought it would you know plus two stab might want to take it out but I guess not so yeah and it's not super effective or anything but uh right here I know he's gonna go for a bug buzz just cause he really has to at this point and uh, it's actually going to do a pretty decent amount, but you know, Noah's special wall is actually going to take that pretty well. And uh, I'm just going to hit him with Tin Power Ice this time, just because it's probably the better, safer option. No, I don't know, I just kind of just want to finish off Butterfree with it. Um, anyways, uh, I believe his last Pokemon are Chinchino and Lapras. So he's going to go into his Chinchino right here. And uh, he's gonna 
out speed me of course and go for the tail slap which is probably technician boosted so the first one's going to do a lot and the second one gets a crit which obviously doesn't matter this other first one do like 80 damage and the second one only need 40 damage to be done Whoa. so right here i'm going to go out into my sock which is obviously scarfed because all socks are pretty much scarfed um, i know there are exceptions but most of them usually are so i'm going to go for a close combat and obviously take out the Chinchino because I did that speed in. Unless he had the Focus Sash, which I really doubt any Chinchino ever has Focus Sash. And uh, I'm actually going to take him out. And his last Pokemon is Lapras. And I doubt that thing's going to be as speeding a uh, Choice Scarf Sock. So I'm just going to hit that thing with Close Combat. And it's pretty much just going to be a good game. Um, so anyways guys, if you enjoyed this, go check out Mikachu's channel. Um, he's usually not bad. Uh, he's actually a pretty good battler. I'll have his link in the description. Right here, he had his, you know, downfall, not knowing Hypno, but he won't underestimate that in the future, obviously. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, uh, and also sub to my channel. Uh, and I will pretty much just see you guys next time. Enjoy.